According to the declarations of Zakhara Bukhanov, who lives in France, his life could be threatened by Russian secret services and oligarchs. Recent events have confirmed these declarations and that is why he has decided to publicly speak of his situation in order to guarantee his own safety. Zakhar was arrested in the end of May 2018, in Monaco, at the demand of Russia which requested his extradition. This was totally unexpected since he had been spending the last two decades in France and never knew, nor had he been informed, that he was searched for on an international scale. Whilst he explained his arrest more in detail, Abukhanov claimed that the prosecutor was very motivated to have him extradited to Russia. He also highlighted that the whole case, as well as all of the accusations, had been fabricated by old business partners who have the necessary money and power to influence any situation in Russia. As everyone knows, Zakhar Abukhanov was a businessman in the past, had access to all business circles and personally knew most of the current billionaires and Russian politicians. He even had regular contact with some of them before his arrest in Monaco. According the Abukhanov, the person who launched the international search warrant against him was Roman Abramovich. He states that Roman Abramovich used his money and power to fabricate a false case against him. Further, he explained, After winning a trial against Berzovsky thanks to my information and testimonies, Abramovich and his entourage tried to hide this fact and the fact that they had ever met with me. This pushed them to fabricate an additional false case in Russia which led to my name appearing in Interpol as a consequence. The fact that my extradition was refused is proof that the case fabricated by Abramovich was a failure. Moreover, Abukhanov affirms that after analyzing the chronology of events, we can note that Abramovich is behind another fabricated case in which a Russian federal arrest warrant was issued from the Republic of Dagestan. By going back on the details of his role in the trial which opposed Abramovich to Berezovsky, Abukhanov explains that Berezovsky lost this trial because of information that he provided against Berezovsky. He explains, A close person to Abramovich named David Davidovich contacted me in 2011. They wanted to know what kind of information I had since I personally knew Brezovsky and had contact with him. They were panicking because they were about to lose the trial. They were looking for any way so that this doesn't happen. David Davidovich, who met with me on the behalf of Abramovich, recorded all of my information on a dictaphone and left by saying that he would contact me in order to honor our agreements. They won the trial, transferred my recordings to the judge unofficially, and later started ignoring me. I am sure that I started to bother them. Who would want anyone to know of such details besides that Roman Abramovich could be personally implicated in the mysterious death of Boris Brezovsky? Abukhanov affirms that he can confirm his statements with photos and audio recordings of their conversations. Let us remind that Berezovsky had accused the judge known as one of the best representatives of British justice. He accused her relative, a lawyer by profession, and who, thous, had worked for Abramovich from 2007 to 2011, of receiving £500,000 from the accused Abramovich. The largest Russian and British media outlets had reported that according to Berezovsky, who had become known as the loser of the trial of the century, the judge had used illegal methods in this trial against Abramovich for three, five billion pounds. According to the press, Berezovsky was getting ready to declare that the judicial process had been led with offenses and therefore the decision had to be reviewed. But in the meantime, Berezovsky was assassinated and in parallel they started working on my case, says Abukhanov. The reputations of the British judicial system and of Abramovich were under threat. There would be a doubt on his victory in the trial as well as the whole process could be re-examined. This would lead to a series of negative consequences for him and his accomplices. Whilst answering questions on the period during which he started being hunted, Abukhanov pointed out some shocking facts. When remembering the period during which the series of surprising events started, he states that already in 2012 he had noticed that articles had started to appear in various Russian newspapers which defamed his honor and dignity. False information and letters that he had supposedly written were published during this time. The most interesting events took place in 2014 when a Russian federal arrest warrant was issued against him from Dagestan. Abukhanov claims, Everyone knows that I have never been to Dagestan. But as we know, in Russia it is very simple to fabricate a case against a Chechen if you have a minimum of money or power. 
These events took place in 2014, on the 13th year that Abutkanov had been living in France. Apart from the press articles, in the same year of 2014, a request is made from Digestin to the Chechen Republic, in the province of Vidino, to obtain DNA samples. The police come to the address where the relatives of Abutkanov live. They ask for Zakhar Abutkanov's paternal uncle, Shakhid Abutkanov, a 90-year-old man. After failing to find him at home, and despite other relatives being present, they head to the school where he works as a teacher. By threatening and intimidating the 90-year-old man, they take samples of his hair and blood, despite his disagreement. Relatives were afraid to resist or ask any questions since the local authorities do not hesitate to arrest, torture or even kill. Abukhanov was immediately informed by his relatives of this event. He asked that they send him samples of his uncle's hair and blood as well because you can expect anything with the Russian authorities and secret services who would be capable of using this DNA in cases that they would fabricate against him. Abukhanov says that his samples are kept in a safe place. Abukhanov explains that at the moment, authorities from France and Monaco have investigated in detail and have exculpated him in every point. During these investigations, it has been clearly stated that a financial conflict exists between Zakhar Abukhanov and Roman Abramovich. During our conversation, Abukhanov expressed hope that British authorities would take interest in his declarations and would decide to elucidate by which means Abramovich had influenced the British judicial system and specifically how Berezovksy lost in trial against him. Abukhanov also expressed that he would ready contribute to this process. In conclusion, what we can see is, in 2011 Roman Abramovich and his team meet with Abukhanov and receive information. In 2012 Abramovich wins in trial against Berezovsky and that same year a campaign begins in mass media in order to defame Abukhanov, discredit him and provoke mistrust towards him. A case is launched against him. In 2013 Berezovsky dies. In 2014 an international arrest warrant is issued through Interpol. In 2014 a Russian federal arrest warrant is issued for a second case. In regards to the persecution of Chechens around the world, Abukhanov explains that Russia does not wish to see free Chechens, especially on the territory of Europe because Russia perfectly understands that Chechen children grow in Europe as free, intelligent and educated individuals. This is a real threat to Russia. For this reason, Russia wishes to concentrate them into one place. According to Abukhanov, he would also like to draw attention to the fact that Russia is trying to bring Chechens back to their homeland through any means, especially through Interpol, thanks to fabricated cases. It is not a secret for anyone that Russia has decided to take care of anyone who is implicated from near or far in the independence movement against the Russian occupant. In conclusion of our conversation, Abukhanov finishes by stating that Russian politicians, deputies, oligarchs, and those who represent the elite of the business world have a criminal past. It is Putin's Russia, with its criminal elements, that is persecuting me. Abukhanov adds that he is preparing to publicly expose the names of certain deputies and oligarchs who have a dark past in order to avoid being stabbed in the back.